everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you our latest release from Stamperia. So if you received our shout out, you know that there's three collections in this release. And uh, the first one I'm going to go over is Stamperia Sleeping Beauty. So I don't open these packs because it's just too easy to lose bits, but they have the die cuts. They're really beautiful. And let's see, there are 38 pieces in the die cut. All of these are listed and available in our shop right now. This is new for Stamperia, a 6x6 six six version of the collection. An 8x8, eight eight, which is, they've always had 8x8, eight eight, but the 6x6 six six is new, that format. Here is the chipboard, and I think these are the stickers. I took the, no, yeah, adhesive chipboards for um, Sleeping Beauty. And then now we're gonna go over page by page, the 12 by 12. So what is in the eight by eight and six by six is the same thing, just scaled down. All right, I wanna make sure. I'm... I hate having this mat here, but what I've found is I'm getting so much glare on my desk, we're not getting very good colors. So I'm gonna live with it And in the meantime, and I have ordered a mat to uh, start working with in general so you don't have to look at that ugly grid when I'm doing reveals and walkthroughs. These are really pretty. These cut aparts are fun. I love these elegant Baroque patterns. Okay, we've got a beautiful fairy here. She's about seven inches tall, just to give you... Okay, I was a little bit off, about seven and a half. This uh, cut apart or if you wanted to feature this as an element, looks like it's about three and a half by six, just to give you some idea of the scale of things. This is pretty, and it's about eight and a half, so you could trim that down just a little bit and use it in an eight by eight album or use it in a larger album. Okay, she's a beautiful lady here, and she is just over seven inches. So again, she would feature well in an eight by eight album or larger. Okay, isn't this beautiful? The colors are very beautiful. Oh, I love, I love it when they put uh, a repeated pattern like this because it really helps you break up um, your album and add borders. And then of course we've got the cut aparts. Them, that's something they typically do and I really like it. These turn out being uh, beautiful embellishments on your flaps. Or, of course, you can use them as journaling cards. I'm curious what size is this. So on the outside, it's 10 by 10. If you went on the inside, meaning this gray line, it's 8 and 3 quarters. And normally my covers are 8 and a half by 8 and a half, so that could easily be used as a cover. And then, of course, they have their round um, embellishment pieces, which I like, or cut aparts. More cut aparts. These are lovely. These are going to make um, interesting elements uh, and embellishments to add to your pages or cover. And that is the end. So that is Sleeping Beauty. Now, what I haven't shown you and uh, is rice paper. There's also various rice paper available for all the collections that you're going to see today. And if you go over to www.scrapandcreate.com and look under brands and click on Stamperia. These collections are gonna be at the top of that page. Okay, so the next collection, and they call this a romance collection, I think um, Sleeping Beauty was too, is the horses collection. So here we've got, this is for the horse lover, right? And Or anybody who likes racing or um, any kind of equestrian activities. I think this is a very pretty collection. So we've got the die, cuts here. There are 39 pieces. We have a double-faced uh, eight by eight collection, 10 double-faced. Uh, the horses did not come in a six by six, so that was unique to, well, there's some other collections that have it, and that'll be the last one I show you. So it did for the um, uh, Sleeping Beauty, but not for the horses. There's this new um, format that they've come out with, it's 10 double-faced sheets, and you guys, if you're Stamperia um, lovers, you've probably already seen this. And this is called Collectibles, and it kind of reminds me of something um, that Chow Bella does, where they give you these, um, these pages that can be used as cut-aparts, so you don't have to make a choice 
in your 12 by 12 pack, um, you can come over to the collectibles and pretty much find what you're looking for and cut those apart and use those as embellishments. So we've got some gates, some um, interesting animals to use, trophies. Uh, so if you know a, a horse rider, especially somebody that competes, I mean, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. And these are really pretty, these cut aparts. More cut aparts. So these embellishments are fun. This is nice too. Okay, so that is what's called, and that was one more piece of the cover, the collectible edition. Okay, this is the adhesive chipboards. And I'm trying to make sure I'm showing this without too much glare. It is a glossy surface um, and it feels ultra smooth. It's very pretty. Now let's look at the good stuff. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, um, so we've got a cut apart page here, which is really pretty. Oh my, I can totally see cutting these apart and using them on the cover um, in layered fashion. All, all of them are perfect for that. This is a beautiful um, image even cutting apart some of these uh, flowers. Now looking at it, of course, as usual, I'm looking at it at the same time you guys are, this is the first time I'm actually touching the paper. These look like um, really beautiful watercolors. So um, I'm, I'm hoping it's coming across in video, but it's, it's very pretty, very pretty. These would be easy to cut apart and layer um, as part of your overall design. This is beautiful. That would make a wonderful cover too. Ooh, it would, so many choices. Okay, this is pretty lovely. Another spray, I think these are beautiful and they're easy to cut apart and use throughout your albums. Oh, look at that, oh my gosh, that is really detailed, it's very beautiful. Okay, this you could easily cut three sides out of it, score one side, open it, and have your picture behind it. This is beautiful too. Oh my goodness, a lot of choices. And the horseshoe, that would also make a good cover. So many choices. Okay. Uh, I like the cut aparts. And it says postcard on the back side, so that's kind of fun. The various horses, it just makes a nice uh, background image. Lots of cut aparts. And this is also the back of the collection. And these sketches are beautiful, really beautiful. I love that. Okay, so that is what they call the Romantic Collection Horses. So again, there's our um, adhesive back chipboard, our um, collectibles the 8x8, and the die pack. Okay, now comes the big collection. It's Alice, and there's so much to cover here. Look at this, oh my gosh. So the first thing I wanna let you know is Alice in Wonderland, which is an older collection, now comes in 6x6, so that's new during for this release, so that's new. Um, they're also gonna, do, they've also done Alice 6x6, through the looking glass and eight by eight through the looking glass. And then I also wanna go over real quick, the die pack, 47. I'm kind of rushing through the six by six and eight by eight because I'm actually gonna go over the detail pages in the 12 by 12, which are the same images, they're just scaled differently. Okay, 39 or 47 pieces in the die cuts. And this is the new die cuts. Now this is new. And I'm gonna set this aside for a second, but it's called Backgrounds. Um, there's 10 double-sided sheets, and you can see they're just background images, and they're made to coordinate with all of the Alice releases, but it's new with Through the Looking Glass. Here's the adhesive back chipboard, and a separate adhesive back chipboard, so there's two. And then here's the collectibles. We'll go over this, then we'll go over, there's two new releases with Through the Looking Glass. Ooh, look at that, oh my gosh. I love it when they put a pattern on the reverse side so you can 
cut apart or use the pattern because um, sometimes I just need extra pattern paper. And this one, it's, it's not, it's double-sided. So the nice thing is if you cut this apart, you've got the same image on the front and the back, which is very rarely the case. A lot of times they'll put something on the back, but not exactly the same image. These are very pretty. The same thing, these are double-sided. So if you cut out a piece of cardstock slightly larger than this element, um, and you had two of these, you could sandwich it front and back, or you can just cut it apart, ink your edges, and you've got a front and back. Okay, and then there's these cut aparts. This is very long, so I'm having to move back and forth. And here's one that has a uh, pattern on the back. These are cut apart elements, and they're double-sided. Ooh, I wonder if the T is, oh, it is, look at that. The T is double-sided. <laughs> so if you cut it apart, and you're using it in part of the front and back show, you'll have the continuation of the pattern. The keyholes are beautiful, all three of them. And these are always fun to, to decorate with. And then you've got, um, if you don't use all your cut aparts, you've got pattern paper you can use. Another double-sided cut apart. The cards, which um, have a front and a back. I like that. I wonder if they're, Oh, it just goes through the, uh, so these are not the same. They're addition. They're in, in addition to, uh, is that true? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. These are hearts. Oh, these are hearts too. So they're, it's a mix. They're not the same. Different numbers, different uh, suits. Oh, look at this. This is clever. Oh, this is really clever. <laughs> so you could do something really interesting with this where you could cut out, fussy cut these out and then have them be a pop-up feature when you open uh, the page. That's really clever. And then of course you've got some additional um, cut aparts on top and it's double-sided, nice, nice. And nice simple pattern on the back. And that is the Alice Collectibles released just now with the new Alice collection, which is through the looking glass. So now we're gonna go through the 12 by 12, 10 double-sided, Alice through the looking glass. It's pretty, <laughs> oh my. I skipped a page already, sorry about that. There we go, there's Alice. That looks pretty. Oh, look, we're all mad here. Happy unbirthday to you. Lovely. This has been a wildly popular series. It's nice that they've uh, introduced some new stuff. So I imagine this will be just as popular. I really like that they decided to do backgrounds um, and we'll go over that next, okay? This is pretty. You could do borders with this easily. You got your cut aparts, car toppers. Oh, and a calendar. See, I'm surprised because I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay, more cut aparts. This, these are double sided. Oh, you could do so. You could you you could do like a birthday. Um, you could do a card keeper, a birthday card keeper. Um, just a, a simple calendar for just in general. There's lots of things you can do with those calendars. We don't always get those, and I like that they didn't print the month numbers here because it changes per every year. That way you can use it whenever, whatever year you decide to make your project. It's not year specific. Okay, more cut aparts. Okay, that is the 10 pack. Now I'm gonna go over quickly what's called the background selection. And then we're gonna go over the last one, which is uh, very exciting. It's the uh, 22 double face sheets. So here's the backgrounds. This comes in eight by eight only. Okay. So it's nice to have these, oh, that's pretty. These background, background pieces to um, help you fill out your album. I hope they start doing this with um, more collections. Okay, now here comes the 
highlight of the reveal. This is the Stamperia 22 sheet double faced uh, album and this is Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. And that's the title here, Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Twenty-two sheets is nice. You get lots and lots of choices. Okay, this looks like through the Wonderland. You got a, a calendar here again, the end birthday calendar. All the teapots are lovely. deck of cards. Probably not a full deck, but a lot of cards. And there's Alice. The Looking Glass House. Through the Looking Glass. So this looks like from this point on is Through the Looking Glass. So basically you've got this 22 sheet pack that's got uh, both collections in it. Pretty cool. Or cut apart, and I don't have the Wonderland in front of me, so I don't know if it's exactly the same. Let's look at it. Here's the old. Uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. So all of the the big, unique prints are in there. Let's go back, and I'll show you. So that is definitely from the release of Wonderland. This was from the release of Wonderland. This also. This is unique. And then there's, this was part of the initial Wonderland release. So this is unique and then the, um, the clock page, this is unique. So those two images have been added to the Wonderland. Okay, and then like, moving into I think, here we go. Moving into Through the Looking Glass, all of these I haven't seen before, so. Lovely, lovely. So I don't know, I honestly don't know if Through the Looking Glass, let me look. Oh, here it is, yeah. So here's the 10 sheet. I think it's the same, but after we go through it, I'll tell you. There's probably one or two unique things here This is unique to this collection pack. It's not in the 10 page through the looking glass. This is also unique. So this page, this page. This is unique. This is part of uh, the original release in, ten, in the 10 sheet pack. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, go back and forth and get, keep you as informed as possible. That's unique to this collection pack. This is another unique sheet, and then we've got these cut aparts. So, there's several unique patterns in this 22 sheet pack that do not exist in the 10 by 10 through the looking glass or the, uh, I'm not 10 by 10, I mean uh, 10 sheet. And there's also a couple of unique Wonderland that are not in the original release of Wonderland. So if you buy the Alice, you will get some duplicates if you've bought the 10 sheets before. Um, but if you haven't, purchased it, you definitely get some unique patterns in here. So this is awesome. This is a beautiful collection, um, you know, 22 sheets. It's beautiful. Lots of uh, card toppers, cut aparts, and um, elements to embellish your albums or your projects. And then again, um, Alice background selection. This is the first time we've done this or they've done this. And I think this is gonna be quite popular. Of course, we have our adhesive back chipboard. And then we have the Through the Looking Glass in 6x6, 8x8, 12x12. And then we have a combined 22-sheet 
Wonderland and through the Looking Glass. So that's everything we just went over right now, which is a lot. Um, you know, did I go through the collectibles? I don't think I did this. So we still have one more thing. The Alice collectibles. These, are, no, we did, we did. Okay, I remember this pattern. So this is is, uni, is new uh, for Stamperia. So they've been selling very, you know, very quickly for us. I, I think every time they do a new format, people are very interested to see what it's like. I'd love to see some feedback on this from you guys. Uh, just moving forward, do you think these collectible um, formats are, you know, something that you would want us to continue to invest in and have available for you guys? So as always, thanks for taking time and uh, going through this reveal with us here at Scrap and Crete. And as I said, if you if you go to the description, there'll be a link to the store. Um, the first link will be just to our homepage. The second link will take you directly to Stamperia. And all of these collections will be up on the top of Stamperia. And of course, on the upper right hand corner, um, you can search by collection. But all of these, because they're new, will be listed in the front of that shop. So thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. We'll see you soon.